Total surface area, as the name implies, is just the addition of all the surfaces, the area of all the surfaces on the shape. Now there are some fancy ways of working this out. You can work it out given what I've already shown you, all right, using all those formulas from the, the single dimensions, sorry, just for the area and stuff, and then adding them all together. But there are some formulas you can have that make life a fair bit easier. So let's say you have a cube, and all the sides on this cube are the same. Okay, and they have the length L. What you can do is the TSA, the total surface area, okay, the area of one face is L squared. And how many faces on a cube? There are six. Okay, so the total surface area of a cube is 6L squared. Okay, if you have a rectangular prism like so, okay, where you have length, width, and height, the formula is a little bit more um, involved, but it's still very easy. You have two of each sized shape, so you have twice, okay, the length times the width, you have the top of the box here and the bottom of the box underneath there, okay, length times width. You have two all right, the two stays out the front there. Width times height, so you've got this end and the end over here. So you're adding that. And you also have this side here, which is LH, length times height, and the one that's hidden over the back here. So that's the formula for that. Twice the length times the width plus the width times height plus the length times the height, because you have three faces, okay, and each of them is doubled up on. You have this end and that end, and this side and this side, and the top and the bottom. So they're the same. Okay, the areas are the same. So you just need to multiply by two. If you have a cylinder, that's a little bit trickier. Right, so we have our cylinder. The total surface area, and I can sort of explain this to you if you would like, if not, skip over till you see the next one, after I've written this down, 2 pi r, r plus h. Okay, now that comes about because you have the area of a circle is pi r squared. Okay, so the area of the top and the bottom is pi r squared, and you've got two of them. Okay, and if you roll out, so if you take and you, if you think of a, 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 a tin can, if you cut the top and the bottom off and then put a slice down the side and laid it out, you would actually have a rectangle. Okay, so that's for top and bottom. And bottom. Okay, for the rectangle, the length of that rectangle is actually the circumference. Now, if you remember, the circumference is 2 pi r, and then you're going to have to multiply it by the h. Okay, because that multiplied by h because that is the sides. Okay, so circumference times by the height. If you add them together and simplify it, you will come up to that. Now that's more than you need to know. It's just for interest sakes if you wanted to know it. But that there is the formula you need to know. If you can't remember that, you can work it out using these two, but that might be simpler for you to use. The next shape is a cone. Okay, where you have the height, the slant, and the radius. Okay, now I've got no fancy way of explaining this to you myself, but the TSA of this is pi r r plus s. Okay, so that's one you're just going to have to remember. And if you have a sphere, Alright, the total surface area of that, and again, this is one you're just going to have to remember, is 4 pi r squared. Okay, where r is the radius. So that's all of the total surface area formulas you'll need to know. Again, if you can't remember them, you need to write them in your summary book.